Okay, this is problem number eight from chapter B2. Directions are simple. They say simplify. Okay, so in order to simplify this, like the previous problems from this homework assignment, we have to combine our x terms. I see two x terms here. They combine our number terms. I see two number terms here. Okay, um, in this case, we're dealing with fractions, so we're going to have to figure out how to add, subtract fractions. All right. First thing I'm going to do is rearrange this problem. I mean, I'm going to put my my x terms together and my number terms together. All right. So when I do that, when I move my x term over here, I move my number term over here. I have to take that sign with it. Okay. My first step. bring my x terms together and my number terms together. Okay, step one. Step two would be go ahead and add those two terms together. Okay, and then add these two terms together. You know by now you need a common denominator for all these. Okay, but I don't need a common denominator for all four terms, right? Because I'm just going to add my two x terms together, so I need a common denominator for those two. Yeah, my two number terms together. I just need a common denominator for those two. So you think of it as two separate problems. The common denominator between 7 and 2 would be the product of 7 and 2. Uh, in this case, 14. So what I do is I first write my um, two fractions over that common denominator and then decide what the numerators would be. Okay, so in order to get from 7 to 14, what did I do? I multiplied by 2. Okay, so I have to do the same to the numerator. So multiply 7 by 2 to get 14. I'm going to multiply the 2 by 2 to get 4. So 2 7 and 4 14, same thing. Okay, over here, to get from 2 to 14, multiply by 7. I do the same to the numerator. 1 times 7 is 7. Okay, so in a minute I'll add those two numerators together and keep my denominator the same. First, I'll do the same thing over here. Okay, common denominator between three and four will be twelve. So again, I'll carry the signs with me. Okay, the next step, and write both fractions over my common denominator between these two fractions, twelve. Same process. This one I multiply by four to get twelve. So I got to multiply this by four to get eight. Over here. I multiply 4 by 3 to get 12. So 1 times 3 is 3. Okay? So my final step, I can now add my numerators together. So down here, 4 and 7 is 11. And I keep my denominator of 14, common denominator of 14. Over here, negative 8 minus 3 is negative 11. I look at these fractions to see if they simplify. I can see that they don't. I don't have a common factor between them, so I'm done there. I got my x term, I got my number term, and that's the answer. Okay? If you understood that, keep going, keep doing your homework. If not, rewind.